Hello, and once again, welcome to Redneck Modding. And today I'm going to take you on a tour around my modifications to the Frontier map. They're not modifications so much as they're in-game changes that I have made. And we're going to start out at my new farmhouse, which... Uh, has been relocated uh, along with our dog Vito and we also have added a pig uh, pen area here so we we have 13 pigs right now And we have uh, a chickens, some chickens over here laying some eggs. I believe we have about 30 of those. And we have a, a cow barn over here. Uh, we have a resurrected uh, building, uh, which was torn down and rebuilt for storage. And basically what I keep in here is um, just storage for a couple of vehicles um, and my seeds and things like that. So you can see the, the city is way over there. Um, and as you can see, we've torn down the wall. Uh, there is no wall anymore. And we've added uh, some storage for hay and a silo for our wheat. And we've cleared this stretch of land that's out here by field number 41 which uh, has been recently sown with wheat and harvested. So this will give you an idea where we are on the map. This is the limestone factory up ahead. And down here you can see the area where I've rebuilt my new farm. So this is the cows. We have a slurry tank over here. We have a building to store some vehicles. And as you can see, we've cleared all of this land. This was uh, very forestry. And we've taken the chainsaw and taken down those trees. Like I said, this is the limestone factory over here. And we also tore down some housing district over here on this plot of ground and rebuilt with putting a shed in here to store our combine, our forage wagon, and some other implements as needed. And over here we have a vehicle shed. And we've installed an electric uh, charging station for our electric vehicles. And uh, then over here we have uh, my favorite tractor and the mulcher, which I uh, used to clear the forestry area of, uh, of wood and such. And then over here we have a mod that I created uh, using the Manitou forklift. I added a rear weight attacher. Actually, I I did not 
add that. A friend of mine did, Lambo. And then we have a auto uh, load wagon. And we have a JCB tractor. Let's go ahead and start him up. And we'll go ahead and hook up the the uh, auto load trailer here because I want to show you the greenhouses that we'll put in. Tight squeeze there. Of course, what I do like about this tractor is the turning radius. All right, so let's go over here. First of all, I, I've created a new field. And also, while we're here, let me, let me just jump out and show you the shed that I put in. Because I, I wanted a way to, uh, to be able to drive a trailer. These trailers are very difficult to back up. Uh, so I wanted a drive-through shed for this particular tractor. Also, you'll notice some fencing over here and a bridge. The bridge is over the railroad tracks. And we have a new field over here. And Fido is out and wants to be petted as usual. And uh, so we have planted a field of grass over here. And let's go ahead and go across the bridge. I don't suppose we have any trains coming right at the moment. Don't look like it. Now it is a little bumpy through here. I didn't do a real good job of leveling the, the terrain out, but it is what it is. So over here we have some greenhouses and there's our train going right underneath our bridge. And oh, we have some strawberries that could be picked up and sold. So let's go ahead and load those up. Now I have uh, four greenhouses. And I do want to save some room for uh, the bread because I put a factory up here to make flour. Show you that. And I put in a water tower. So I bring my wheat or oats over here and that gets turned into flour. And the bread factory is over here. I bring the flour over to the bread factory. And then we have a grape processing unit uh, facility over here on our left. So we'll go ahead and pick up some bread. And I think we're, uh, we've, we're full. So I can't hold any more. So we'll take this uh, and sell it to the store. 
Now, I'm getting pretty low on funds. I've spent a lot of money uh, buying land and building factories. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you those statistics here in a moment. And I've also built a biogas plant uh, nearby so that I can sell my slurry without having to drive clear across town. And we'll see how much income we get from our strawberries and our bread. Uh, we got seventy four ninety three so far. And uh, another ten thousand, so about, oh, probably about 18,000, which uh, is needed considering all the money I have exhausted and spent. Um, okay, so don't know that they, we've changed much down the road there. So the only other thing besides, you know, this is this is my my new farm. So I've cleared all of this land and uh I'm raising some pigs and chickens and some beehives for honey. Uh, and like I said, I I tore down this building here. It was an old rustic building that was in bad shape. And I cut up the, the trees and stuff that was around it. And I rebuilt it with a new building. And like I said, I... I added a silo and a hay storage. Um, and I'm trying to recall exactly where it was that I, I added the biogas plant, and I seem to have forgotten. Where did I put the biogas plant? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure. Oh, I know where it was. It was, uh, I wanted it to be close, but not too close. So, I believe, yeah, there it is. There's the biogas plant up there on the left. And, of course, as you notice, we tore down the wall. Um... And we bought a, a lot of the land on the other side in the desert so that we could add some things to that. Uh-oh, it's time for the train. As you'll notice, uh, the railroad crossing uh, has a new mod to it that doesn't uh, have the gates come down 
and then the train run into you because there's no time. So we've extended the warning time. So here is the biogas plant. It's a small one, but with only four cows at, at the moment, this is uh, this will be satisfactory. I, I'll be able to get by with this. And I just just built this a, a little bit ago, so I have not driven around it. So I may have to do something with this land area here, but anyhow, you, you get the idea. And uh, so again, this is our grape processing plant on the right, and we have a new water tower. So we may as well go ahead and pick up some more bread here. And get the rest of our strawberries, which uh, Looks like we don't have enough room for all the strawberries. So we'll have to make another trip a little later. You do want to make sure that the uh, tension straps are fastened down, especially when you come back over this bumpy terrain. But so I, I added this bridge because uh, it's a metal bridge because that train was always coming at the wrong time. And so I took care of that problem. So we're at the supermarket, again, uh, selling some of our produce. We got 13000 for the bread and the strawberries. Again, that's much needed income due to all the money that I've spent. So let's just give you an idea where we're at on the map. and show you a little bit about our statistics and some of our production facilities. So uh, at the bakery, we are currently making bread. Um, I needed the cows to make some milk, so eventually we can make some cake. But we're going to need some additional ingredients besides the strawberries and the, the milk. Uh, we're going to need some butter. We've got the eggs. Uh, the chickens are laying those. We're going to need some sugar. Um, and we just added the biogas plant. Um, so we have not uh, put anything into it just yet. We're making uh, furniture over at the carpentry plant and along with some wood chips. And the, uh, the grain mill, of course, is currently out of grain. I've got to uh, harvest another field to uh, supply either wheat, barley, or oats, or sorghum to make some more flour, although we still have 
a little flour left to make bread with. And our grapevines uh, are gonna, we're gonna need to take care of those. And then of course, we're just doing strawberries at our four greenhouses. Um, and they're doing good on water. Uh, uh oh, we got, uh, we're out of water on one of our greenhouses. Just about out of water on this one, so we'll have to take care of that. The metal factory, of course, is very busy. We've got uh, iron ore and wooden beams. We've run out of metal to melt, and uh, I'm running out of places to find that, although I've got a couple more left that I know of. Um, vehicle parts make very good profit. Um, but anyhow, that's, uh, that's going to require just iron ore to make vehicle parts. And it makes, uh, for every three liters of iron ore, we produce uh, one and a half liters of vehicle parts. Miller's sawmill, of course, uh, we're out of wood, so I'm going to have to either cut down some more trees to supply that. The mine, well, the mine is not too busy right at the moment. Palico is got some wood, and we are selling our wood chips and our pallets. And then we have a small greenhouse over at the original farm, which is up by the city. Um, it's getting low on seeds and solid fertilizer, so I'll have to take care of that shortly. Um, and then as far as money, well, you can see that we've been in the red for several months. Uh, and that's why we're we're down to a million one, um, and need to start selling some more products. To uh, we're not selling enough products because our spend rate is way out of balance. Um, as you can see, we've we have bought uh, some new vehicles along the way. And our construction costs have been quite expensive lately. Uh, and purchasing land and all of that has been adding up to uh, put us where we're at today. If you want to take a look at the map to see what's been going on, uh, this corner of our world is, like I said, has been uh, extensively um, reworked. This was all forest in this area, which I've taken care of getting down, rid of the trees. And this is our mine uh, factory over here. CP1 is a new field that we created after we tore down the wall and bought some more property over in this area. We've added our silo and our hayloft over here. And of course we have our cow barn and our pigs and our chickens and our honey. And there's our electra, electric charging station. So this is pretty much what's going on on the map. Um, if we go take a look at what we've purchased, we own uh, all of this land here. So we bought up all of the um, desert area 
all around here after we tore down the wall. So this is where our biogas plant is. And then along here is the bread factory and the greenhouses. And then uh, right over here is the uh, metal bridge across the railroad tracks that run up this way. We did uh, purchase some fields over here, which at the moment we've not done anything with. Um, and we've got a couple of fields over here. Uh, we've got the grapevines over here on field 34. Um, so yeah, that's that's our new changes to the frontier map. Um, if you would like to try to reproduce what I've done here, um, get ready to spend a few weeks. This has taken um, many hours to put all this together. And I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Um, and I guess we should mention that uh, we have gates. Um, so if we jump out of the tractor and come over here and open the gates, uh, this is where our honeybees are. And there's Fido again, and there's our our honey. And of course we we put a gate in here. We also have a, a gate on this side, and we have a gate in the back. So um. We're in pretty good shape as far as getting in and out of the farmhouse. Uh, this is where we return in the evenings to get our rest. And so we'll go over here to the building where we store our implements. And we'll go ahead and disconnect this. All right, so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the tour around the frontier map that has been uh, significantly updated uh, to move the farm from the city area out here into the country. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. This is Red from Redneck Modding.